Welcome. In this short video, we're going to show you how to use the Roots Magic's Fix Broken Media Links tool. Now, when you add a picture to a person or to a source or to whatever in Roots Magic, Roots Magic actually just links to the picture on your hard drive. So, in other words, it stores that C colon slash something slash something slash whatever dot JPEG, uh, that path name. It stores that path name to the picture rather than trying to embed the picture inside of the database. Okay, so what happens though is if you move those pictures from one folder to another on your computer, Roots Magic doesn't know that. It doesn't know that you moved those files uh, externally. And so you'll end up with things looking like this, where instead of seeing the picture for the person, you'll see a little square with a red X in it. Or you may actually see the little thumbnail of the picture still, but it will have this red X in the bottom. When you see that red X, what that means is that Roots Magic has a link to a picture, but that picture isn't where it thinks it is. Now, I'm going to show you a little report here. If you go under Reports, if you go under the Printouts and go to Lists, there's a report type called Multimedia List. And what that's going to do is just go ahead and leave them all checked, but you can filter it if you want. Go ahead and generate that report. When you, when you generate this particular report, what you're going to see is a list of all the image links that you have in your file. In other words, what they're linked to, which person or place or whatever, and then the file name where Roots Magic thinks those pictures are. Now, if the picture is not actually where Roots Magic thinks it is, it's going to say not found. So this report can be useful to try to track down which pictures um, where, where Roots Magic thinks the pictures are, and then you can find them and possibly link them up. But I'm going to show you an easier way to do that, and that is under Lists, you're going to go down here to the Media Gallery, and that's going to open up uh, a screen, and it's going to view, give you a view of all the pictures that you're linked to. Now, some of these pictures may be linked to multiple people, um, but this is going to give you every picture you're linked to. And you'll notice that several of these have that red X. In other words, Roots Magic can't find those. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Tools and say Fix Broken Media Links. And Roots Magic is going to say, where do you want to search? Uh, do you want to search all the drives? In other words, everything on your computer. Or do you want to pick a particular, um, a particular drive? If you only want to search Drive C, you can do that. Or there's an option here called a folder. If you do that, you can actually select what folder you want. And that can be just a drive or it can be um, a very specific folder. So if you know where you moved your pictures to, you can actually just go select that folder and Roots Magic can find it much quicker than having to search the entire, the entire drive. I'm going to go ahead and say Drive C and say OK. And you'll see that Roots Magic right now is searching all of the folders on my drive C and as it finds pictures that right now it's found five of the missing files and if it finds um, your picture in more than one location it will pop up a screen asking you to choose which of the two locations um, you want you know it's it's very easy as as many of you know to have your pictures in more than one place now I can quit at any time so if I figure, you know, hey, it looks like I'm missing five files and it found five of them. Here's one right here. A file was found in more than one folder. Okay, so this particular picture was found in all of these different folders. And so I can choose to use whichever one of those folders that I want. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, go ahead and use that folder. Use, use that. And you'll see now if in the, my particular case, it found every single one of those pictures. So when I click OK, I now have that picture up for that person. So that is how you can use the find or, or the fix broken media links tool to actually go ahead and fix automatically broken media links. Now, there are there is an advanced technique you can use, but you really have to be pretty comfortable with working with Windows path names, that C colon slash whatever. Now, that can be useful, though, if 
you actually changed the names of the pictures themselves. In other words, if you didn't just move them someplace so that Roots Magic could find them, if you actually went in and changed the names of those, um, you know, then then you may need to actually do a search and replace to do that. And I'll show you real quickly. Um, if I do click on search and then come down here to search and replace, okay, one of the fields that I can search for is called multimedia file names. And I can say search for this and replace it with that. So if I happen to know that my pictures used to be in C colon slash my pictures and those pictures are now all in D colon photos, I can just do that and I can just click OK and Roots Magic will go and replace just the path name part of each picture with the new path name. So it can switch those path names. This is very, very fast. Uh, much faster than Roots Magic having to search for them. But as I mentioned, it takes a little bit of, of expertise, a little bit of knowledge on how Windows paths work. So those are your two options. Um, if you ha find that you're missing pictures, um, those are your two ways to be able to fix your broken media links.